hey YouTube friends and family. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing good. I wanted to get on here and just share a little bit of thought. Just been doing a lot of thinking. You know, uh, I've tried to do this several times. And every time I start to do it, I've been interrupted or something happens, phone rings, or I delete my video. I did that. I accidentally deleted my video. All I wanted to talk about was our problems and solutions. You know, the solutions to our, the woes of our world. They're not easily visible and most of us spend a great deal of time searching them out, looking for solutions only to find wherever we search, we find more problems. We chew on the problems, ingesting and dissecting, then move on to the next, usually with a heavy heart and a cluttered mind, feeling as though nothing ever changes and nothing ever gets resolved. It's kind of like a full circle. Circle, We always come right back to the same stuff. Ask anybody around you. You know, the general consensus is that we've come too far. We've come too far to change anything. Too late now. Or perhaps this is just the way it's supposed to be. After all, it was written about so long, long ago that everything was going to go to poo. It was going to be terrible for me and you. You know, I don't know. Why question progress? I mean, if it was written so long ago and it was meant to be, maybe it was just meant to be. Some people say deal with it. Just deal with it. Get over it. Ignore it. As if ignoring it's going to make it go away. Some people don't want to be bothered with the problems. As if not seeing them, not hearing about them, or not dealing with them, they will vanish. Maybe some problems do. Maybe they just resolve themselves. We've seen that happen too. You know, it appears that, a, that life has gotten a bit more crazy. More than we recall it being five years ago or maybe it was 12 years ago. Yeah, up until 12 years ago, it, everything seemed pretty stable. Since then, everything's just turned upside down. Do you agree? Like the world's gone out of balance. We've all noticed, well, at least those of us that do try to pay attention, we've noticed how the deceptions, problems, diversions, and almost as if everything's deliberately planted right up in our faces, often very clear to see, though not always, seems like it's just right there. We usually find that it takes one of our brave conspiracy theorists to uh, bring forth their observa observation of yet again another problem that befalls us. The pile ever growing, ever mounting, problem after problem, scandal after scandal. Still, the equation of problem to solution is seemingly impossible to solve, even for a president, let alone people like you and me. Would you agree that there's nothing we can do? If that's the case, then what's the use? Why even care? If nothing can be done about it, why waste our time feeding the issues that plague us? It's a plague. So many problems. Fukushima, 
Comet Ison, Nibiru, Chemtrails, Fracking, the list goes on and on. Sinkholes. Yeah, it's like a plague. And let us not forget the bird flu, the plagues, the possibility of plagues. It is apparent, if we listen, that the general consensus clearly reads that we really ought to just throw up our hands into the air, not to bother to prepare for anything, because if we prepare for anything, what good's it going to do? Maybe we're just supposed to wait, wait for the big one, the end, or worse. Yeah, the ascension, wait for the ascension, the rapture, death, indefinite detention, because we're hungry or thirsty, or that we dare to disagree. I had somebody tell me the other day that I should be very careful what I say. Should I choose to live in a guise of fear? rather than to take action and to speak up because I disagree, I find things unfair, I find things wrong. If I say that, if I know somebody lies, if I know somebody's deceiving us, should I live in fear rather than to have taken action? Like many, should I just sit silent? I mean, a lot of people do. They sit back. They shake their heads. They, they don't like it. They're not comfortable. And yet, they're silent. They don't make videos. They don't say anything. They'll make comments and delete the comments. They want to say it, but they don't want anybody to see them say it. Should I do that? Should I live under a guise of fear? I can't. However, I mean seriously, who am I anyway? And why this video? What point am I trying to make? After all, I'm by no means the most intellectual woman. I have no fancy degrees in science, political workings, or the definitions of the human psyche. So who am I? I have none of these fancy degrees. However, by the grace of life experiences, the teachings gathered in what I deem to have been the greatest childhood. A childhood where my own imagination and heart ruled. My heart ruled me a lot. I will say because of who I am and where I've been and how I learned I will say without any reservation, no reservation at all, that the solution also sits right up in our faces. The solutions to the problems, just like the problems being in our faces, the solutions are too. I will say that problem is the solutions aren't so acceptable they're definitely not not by the majority we watch as our leaders speak of plots and thievery land ownership rights of birth invasion of privacies Ooh. 
We watch and listen at to reels of wars, war rumors, blood and gore, killing and plights. We witness the innocent being killed, innocent people, just like you and me, being killed by drones and other means. Right down to the unborn, the unborn. Do they get more innocent than that? We watch as the rich get richer and the poor are being called losers because they need those almighty, already paid for food stamps. See, most people on food stamps have worked a lot of years and they've paid into the system, never asked for a thing. And now they need a bowl of oatmeal for their children. And we call them losers. Oh, we're the less fortunate, the weak, the disabled, and those who have fallen victim to the greed of this world become the criminals in the eyes of those who deem themselves better, who deem themselves smarter, who deem themselves more righteous. Those more worthy of the glory of a God whom most do not serve anyway. Oh, they say they do, but actions speak volumes. Fact is, my friends and family, the solutions are, they are right up in our face. You see, we do not need more bullies, more power mongers, more street gangs, more politicians, more greedy corporations, millionaires, or billionaires. We need no more wealth in the form of fake currencies, numbers written on paper that are no more worth anything than your toilet paper. We do not need more of the gold or silver, which only feeds the envy of some and the greed of many more. We do not need more government control. Oh, we certainly do not. Where the book of laws far, far outweighs the book of fairness, compassion, and understanding. The broken treaties? No. We do not need more laws that protect the liars, and the thieves. We do not need more groups, more anger. We do not need more tears and confusion. We do not need bigger and better homes, cars, TVs, designer clothings, lust-filled commercials, and computer games. We do not need commercials where Big Pharma pushes drugs on the weak of spirit and those who feel like everything is hopeless? No. We do not need more killing machines or the emotional trains that roll through our lives wreaking havoc, wrecking homes and the lives where children's dreams and wishes really should come true. So where the hell is the solution? Where is it? Where are the solutions? The solutions lie deep within. Each and every one of you 
Did you hear me? The solutions lie deep within each and every one of you. Though they're not heard, you can't hear the solutions through the rackets that blast the ears and shattered glass around us. It is very simple. It's a procedure that any one of you can perform. You can perform. No matter where you are in this world, no matter your status of wealth, your color, your creed, no matter the nationality or the tribe or the clothes you wear, you could very well and easily be the hero that can or could have saved our world. The solution is right up in our face. We need more peacemakers. We need more lovers. More teachers. More mamas and daddies, grandmas and grandpas that can share good and wholesome stories of greatness with the youth. That can make the children feel like they're worthy, they're special, they're brave, and they're good. We need the listeners of wisdom and those who have the desire to heal others and the power to do so. The great healers of our world, and there are many. They don't even know they have that power. We need the gentle hearts, the meek, not the powerful, the brazen, the bullies. No, my friends, we need more heart. You need not heed this, this video. No. Nor must you listen to my words and trust that I speak the truth. What you must do, if you care, if you genuinely want to find the solution, you must listen to your own spirit. The place within each of you that never deceives, never misleads, never, ever puts you or anyone else at risk. A place that is filled with love deep within. There you will find what it is that you need in order to discern that I have not wasted your time. That I am telling you the truth. Peacemaker or bully. Wisdom or negligence. Choices that are yours. Or perhaps you yourself can find the change within yourself to heal the woes of our world. Much love and as always, big hugs and friends in case you ever, ever feel that no one does, that no one cares. Remember, I do. I certainly do. 
big hugs. And you are the solution to the problems of our world.